So we're rolling. <laughs> we're rolling as far as I can tell here. So. Okay, so, so you're talking about, you know, wanting to learn triple option stuff. And I don't know if you've had any history running triple option or not. The only time was actually when I coached for trees okay. at the sales okay. and Brian was playing, we were in triple. Yeah. Um, and But we were pretty, I was even the offensive coordinator at the time, but the truth was we never got deeply enough into the triple. We ran kind of the Oklahoma stuff. Right, right. So that was like wishbone. Right. Back so, in that era. Right. So we never really got, you know, what Navy and Army have done with double slot and yeah, well, you know, I, I can't really say that I'm a Navy or Army guy. I've picked up little things here or there um, who, who's influenced me. But um, the guy that influenced me the most was um, um, Frank Lenti, who is at Mount Carmel High School in Chicago. Okay. And um, without taking up too much of our time with that. Uh, there was a clinic here in town, and one of the Wisconsin coaches was speaking at it, and um, he literally didn't have time to talk to me, so I begged him to let me take him back to the airport. And on the ride to the airport, he said, "If you know, you come up and visit us any time." But he said, "On your way up there, make sure you stop and see Frank Lenti." So he gave me his number, and um, Frank, is, he would be like. Uh, and this might be an understatement, would be like the Chuck Kyle from St. Ignatius of Illinois. I mean, he's won, I don't know how many now, probably upwards of 10 or 11 state champions. Oh my goodness. But I went up there several times, and so that, that's who got me on my feet. You know, and Mark, I'm sure you know Mark Crabtree. Um, sure. And Mark and I, when I started being a head coach, I knew I wanted to run triple option and stuff, but he always liked the wishbone. And so we went up there together and um, you know, just started learning it. So, but, but I want to start out with um, how we identify defenses first. Please. And I don't know, you might have your own system for that. No, we have no yeah. system for anything. So okay. go. So, so that's the biggest thing for me because I know back in the old days when we first, when I first started pitching at the sales, uh, and Tony was there. You know, the kid would come off the field and he's like, "Where was he at?" Well, I had this guy here, this guy here, and I was like, "No, you didn't. That's impossible." You know, but so we, you know, we had to have some place to start with a language. So, and and this is no rocket science. So. Oh, and we may actually have this one. But I mean, it's all the stuff that the colleges do, but I have my own a little bit. Okay. Um, and, you know, we just label um, guys based on three positions they can be in. On center, <coughs> we have an L, head up is a zero, on the right shoulder is an R, then anything in the gap to the inside shoulder here is a one, two, or a three. And then off the shoulder is 40, 4, 5, and if we have a tight end, it's 60, 6, 7. Now colleges do it different. I didn't think theirs made any sense in my simple mind, so um, I put it that way so it was consistent on both sides. And it goes 1, 2, 3, inside out here, 40, 4, okay, and 5, and 66, 7 over here. Uh, and all that means is, Anybody that's had a is zero two four six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm sure that's not something so new. All, all you've done is instead of saying you're in a two I, yeah. or you're in a four well, this I, is you call it a four. System. Okay, that's right. whatever you want to tell no, your no, team. I just, this is good. So you can, oh, I have to be able to talk with you. Right. So I need to learn right. this. Well, yeah, and it's not that hard. And Brian White at, at Hilliard Davidson, I you know after talking to him ten years after. 10 years or whatever it is after he left the sales he still uses this which I thought you know I thought he'd be using like college terminology or whatever but that's what he uses so um, you know but that's just the first part of it um, so when we call let me take us to the next 
slot, okay? So I put a double slot in here, and I've had various names for this. Um, they use it, and you can come up with your own formation names, but we just call that ace. Okay. But uh, some years we'd call it ace right or ace left, depending on if we wanted to put a certain person in a certain place, but uh, a lot of times we just have two equal guys and one's a right slot and one's a left slot. doesn't really matter. But anyhow, um, when we put in a defense, let's, let's say we're going to put in a 50 defense. This is how I label a 50 defense, okay? And there's any number of different defenses, but... Okay, so that would be like a cover two shell, but um, that's anytime we are drawing up plays or whatever, everyone's speaking the same language. If we, you know, people don't go out and scout so much anymore because everybody's got huddle or they, you know, are looking at film, whatever. Uh, but that's how I draw it up. Now, why do I put the the ends in there? Um, that's just something I've done recently. Is we either have two defenses as far as linebackers are concerned. We either have Mike or no Mike. Mike is somebody head up over the center, okay? No Mike is anything else. So when they're not head up over the center, I just put an end there, okay? So my players, you know, if I, if I got the scout team over there, I don't have to say, hey, you know, move over a little bit this way or that way. I just say, get in Mike, and they go straight to the center and line up over the center. If I say no Mike, you know, they, now obviously this can change slightly depending on how teams want to line their guys. So, so if they're in an offset four, four, three offset, you're in a one tech, what we would yeah. call it. Well, see, in your, in your terminology, it's an one. R or an L? Not necessarily, okay? Uh, what we call an R and an L, and it might be overkill, would be anything off the nose. So it could be as subtle as being on their eye. Well, we call okay. that a one because okay. we, we have a zero technique straight up on the nose and a one. Yeah. We'll go with what you're doing here so we can communicate. It's not that hard. But with, so when I say he's in a one, I mean he's on the center shoulder. Yeah, when we're in a one, we're off the shoulder. Okay, so anything from yeah, off yeah, the yeah, nose you're, you're to the shoulder, the, right. we're calling that an R or an L. So, okay. so he's in an R. So, or an so L. if you, if you're in a, you're in what? To me, you're what the what you're in is you're in a three and an and an L. Let's okay. say. So we might go like that. Okay, that's a Mike defense. Oh, okay, so even though he's. Well, you're because you're saying it's it's Mike because he's dead over the center, he's even though he's in an offset. I mean. Yeah, I Conceivably, mean, you know, there's be over this way a, little, a bit. little bit gray. All right, but you know, you got to see what the, what it is they're really trying to do. Like most most of the time, they're right there. If if they're completely off of there, then you got to really look at their whole defense and see, you know, what, what it is, how you're going to label it. And there's always some subtle alignment difference. You might have to come up with something. But really, we have, we have, uh, you know, I can show you all the different calls that we make, but we name our defenses. So I want to start back over with that. With the uh, original thing I had. Sure. I was just trying to explain, you know, why I put it in there for, um, on that four three, what was that? You had a B on one side. What'd you call that? I just call them Bs. But, but them actually them. now, <laughs> that's my old terminology. This year we called them a J because we, our defense was in, our defense was in um, a 3-3. I got a different defensive coordinator, and that's what he wanted to run. And um, so he calls them Jets, so I just put a J, but I always used to just put Bs. Okay. Whatever it makes I'm sense to you. you. I'm with you. Okay, so I'm going to go through the different alignments. Okay, so our offensive line would get up to the line of scrimmage, and, you know, um, they would – make their line calls from left to right. So their their primary line call is anybody who's covered. So we would just start from left to right and say four, zero, four. So they just yaw, four, zero, four. Okay, and then we've got some secondary calls we make too, but I'm 
Right. So the left tackle is going to make a four call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just because call. sometimes, you know, our blocking depends on the other guys knowing where their people are at. And also, our backs need to know who they're supposed to be cutting off of, those kind of things. So, so it's communication for everybody. It's for coaches, it's for players, it's for defensive recognition, it's for offensive cuts, it's for who you're reading on the option, and everybody, okay? So, so you, you go left or right? Left or right. So if we had a tight end in there, we would say six, four, zero, four, okay? Or six, four, zero, four, six. Or, or if I'm out there, and you know, I, I usually script our, our group offense so that we can get our plays off quicker. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you script it, you don't want to have to stop every five minutes and start shuffling people around. I'll just say, I'll just say six four zero four six, no mic, and they just jump right in it. They don't even it takes them two seconds to jump into it. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, after you've done that a while. They, they learn the terminology and they can just jump right into it. Everybody knows what a four technique is, a six technique, and then, you know, anything else that comes off of that. Okay, so we have a name for this, okay? We just call it, we just call this um, a 50 defense, okay? So, okay, all right. Now, that sounds like, oh, everybody calls that a 50 defense. That's just what we call it. So, but you'll see it gets, it gets, comes different from that, okay? So now, um, and there's different versions of the next thing, but let's say the alignment is like this, okay? Let's say the alignment is like this, okay? So now, the, the line may, may make the same primary calls, but we'd say 64046, but our, our center knows if he's got a zero with a stack Mike linebacker behind it, that's recon to us. So we go from 50 to recon. Okay? It's, that's a 3-3, three, three, but it's a recon. Yeah, and, and these guys could be, these guys could be here. I mean, you've seen <laughs> the sure. version. Sure. In our defense, our, our defense, we line up here, we have what we call an adjuster. We have a safety and a safety, so ours looks like that, okay? But it's still recon to our offensive line. Mm -hmm. It's four zero four, okay? Recon, recon, we know we got a stack linebacker in there, okay? So that's recon, no matter how you slice it. So recon refers to the, to the stack? It's a zero, a seat. guy that knows the nose, I mean, he's not offset, okay? Nose to nose, and he's got a stacked mic behind it. So that's a mic defense to us. So, so mm. uh, even though, even though we don't, once we progress, we don't really say it. When we start out the summer, we'll say, okay, we want recon mic because I want him to know that the linebacker lines up at mic. But recon is mic. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Yeah. And after a while, you just drop the mic part, and they know to get sure. into it. Okay? And they also know that 50 is no mic, so we would say 50 no mic, mm -hmm. or recon mic. Okay? All right. So, the next thing would be, and obviously, formations depend on what's, What's happening? But uh, let's do it this way. Okay. Okay. We call this bear. Okay. So what I just did was I just gave you the three odd fronts that there are. Okay. There's fifty. There's recon and there's bear. Okay, bear is also no mic, so you could say bear no mic. Mm -hmm. Or you could say 50 no mic. Bear no mic already assumes that you have guard, center, guard covered. Okay? So there, there really aren't any other odd fronts. That's it. When I say odd, odd just means the center's covered with a head up. 
guy right there. Okay? So we had to backtrack, we had we could say 50 no mic. Okay? We could say 50 no mic. We can say uh, recon mic, and we can say bear no mic. Now, in bear, bear is just from old time terminology is just double eagle. You know what I'm saying? That the four technique goes down over the guard and the linebackers slide out a little bit wider. So even though it's no mic, their alignment's a little wider. They're a, more of a B gap player type guy, whatever. Okay. So you're playing, but you're playing a five technique there as opposed to say a six. Uh, uh, let me get the terminology right. That, that can, that five technique can change. Instead of a 60 or Yes. I, I call them a five because we don't have a tight end there. So, you know, I could say uh, he's in a wide five, or you could even say get in a go six. It, it doesn't matter what you want to call it. Gotcha. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. But I, it, it's just easier to make a, a five. Usually they're on the shoulder or maybe right outside the shoulder on that. So, so let me go back to this. You have a 50, a 50 no mic. 50 no mic. And then you have a a 50 mic? No, that would be a 50 no mic. Okay, and then I have recon mic. Right, so these are okay. both 50s. But I just say it, it, it evolves down, you know, during the season to 50 recon, recon and bear. bear. But, you know, our scout team, they are not always up with the terminology. So when we're setting up the scout team, you know, and they're kind of wandering around back there like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Getting no mic. Mm -hmm. It's either mic or no mic. Getting no mic. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Was three in a gap or was that his outside shoulder? Okay, three for us is anything, and this, this is where we probably need to talk a little bit, is anything off the nose to the outside shoulder. What do you, what do you call that gap? Do you, do you have a... Once we get off... The shoulder yeah. we're into a 40 all the way up to head up all right okay 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 right. and it's the same same thing here once we're off the shoulder we're in a one all the way to head up on the guard and it's the same thing out here it's a five till we're off the shoulder and then it's a, a 60 so I know what your question is but because I don't have a tight end here I just draw it up that way because right. sure sometimes it's tight five sometimes it's a loose five you know sometimes you you know, when you have an option, when you're running an option, you're not going to get a whole bunch of wide people because yeah, you're going to force the. Nobody wants to just let you run a dive play and have the guy so wide that he can't come down. So they're usually coming tight, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when we get in this formation here, ace formation, we're, we're probably going to see a tight five. I still think I'm missing a defense. I've got a 50. No, I only said 50 three. no mic and a recon. 50 no, bear. 50 no mic, recon mic, and bear no mic. So I only have three defenses. You only have three right yeah. Okay, so, okay, cool. No, okay. Uh, well, I thought I was missing a defense. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Story of my life. Well, we're good. <laughs> All right. So those, those are the odd fronts. Okay. I got to leave, so thank you so okay. far. <laughs> we got. We, we, uh, we bought tickets for Justice League, so and okay. then we bought them like a month ago. So, <laughs> right. well, good to meet you. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, let me know if you need anything else. Hey, here. Dad, I said hi. I will. I will. Yeah. I will. He'll be, uh, he'll be excited. So, <laughs> all right, I'll, see you guys. I'll get that yeah, out to Kim so she can get that out for you. Okay. So, okay. So now, um, in the when I first learned, if you went to Frank Lenti, he might still say. I only recognize even and odd fronts. Well, an even front is any time you don't have a zero, a zero front. Me. Okay? So the next ones that I'm going to go over are the examples of, um, of even fronts. But we, we come up with names for them. Okay? Right. So, so uh, let's just look at this. Okay, Eagle, Mike, okay, an Eagle to us is a two or a three technique, 
So I'm gonna go like that right there. We could put a one or an L here. Okay, five, okay, this, five, and then we, I just draw a backer right there. Okay, and then you'd usually have, you could make this strong safety if you want. I don't care. Okay, now that's, if we're looking to the right, okay, that's the confusing part. We're looking to the right. So let's say we're running a play to the right. Mm -hmm. That's how we're identifying it. So our players will go, 5L35, Eagle, Eagle, Mike. Okay? Now we know where everybody is, basically. Okay? We know where everybody is. And a balanced formation like this, offensive formation, you're going to have a, a four shell defensive backfield that's, if they're, if they're not balancing up on your slots, then you're going to run the way they have the fewest guys. You right. know what I'm saying? Sure. So, so they have to line up like that in that defense. So <clears throat> you're going to go five L three five, or it could, or it could be How, five why, one. Three. Why are you saying? Why are you saying? Oh, because it has a three. It's an eagle because it's a it a has two a or a three in. technique. In other words, the guards covered. Right. Right. And we don't. We don't. We have another name if that was flipped around, okay? So that's the next one. So if this is flipped around like this, okay, and we're looking right, now we're going to say Shade Mike. Shade Mike. So 5315, Shade Mike. Okay, so when... When we're running, I'm hollering. Uh, okay, our, when I was at the sales, we could get we could practice 16 plays in 10 minutes by standing up in the line of scrimmage. I would yell out the play, another coach would yell out the defense. He'd say five, three, one, five. Okay, shade Mike. Okay, and you know, I would have the plays scripted out. Basic reason for running. The plays scripted out is I script plays, so I'm I believe in but it. but it's not so much for us. It's so that I can you know every team's got three or four fronts that they're going to run against you. Or most teams do. Yeah. Okay, so you you have to decide which formations you're going to run, and then what are the fronts that are going to put up there against you, and make sure you practice all of them. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, then it becomes confusing. It certainly does. So so like. Um, I, I know this probably isn't the way you're supposed to practice, but our group period, it might last an hour and 10 minutes. So think about it. You're getting 16 plays times seven. Okay, you get a lot of repetitions in. Now, are you, are you going two platoon? I've done two platoon. No, the, only, never, the reason I ask is you're spending an hour and 10 minutes in group. <coughs> that's, so, where, that's, so, where, that's where it's not really a if someone was telling you how to teach effectively, they would never tell you to teach anything like that. It's just what I do. So you can come up with your own system, but for me, it was all about repetitions, okay? And so I was thinking like, I'm, I really think I'm dyslexic, even though when I was growing up, no one ever thought to diagnose kids for stuff like that, okay? so. I have a hard time flipping things over. So if we, on uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday were our two main nights, I would only run plays to the right on Tuesday, and I would only run plays to the left. I didn't want to confuse kids by flipping, flopping, doing this and doing that. I want everybody to know this is what we're doing, okay? Make it as simple as possible, and we might have six to eight running plays run out of maybe five or six formations mm -hmm. and somewhere in the hundred plays or however many it is okay somewhere in that hundred plays we've covered every formation against every front that you can see what why do you call <coughs> why do you, since you're going five three one five mike or no mike why do you bother to say eagle or shade because it tells us that we have different blocking 
techniques that we use. And our, and, and our guys, if you don't, it's not like, you know, the four back, you know, or the two back running through the four hole like the old days, okay? Right. right. It's not quite as easy to understand. So when you first start doing this, it's going to be confusing to them yeah. because it's a completely different system. But, you know, that's why I'm going over this first is to identify the defense first. Then we can start talking about where the blocking is supposed to come from and sure. what you're supposed to sure. do. I just didn't understand since you were going 5315, Mike, why it didn't get in. So you answered my question because you have a blocking scheme for shade. Yeah, and we, we honestly, we used, when, when Frank Lenthe first taught this to me, and, and maybe we should still be doing it, I don't know, but I, I've just found it works better because of listening to other people who run option. Um, we would have the same technique blocking this guy as we block this this guy. Obviously, the footwork's different because the guy's in a different position. Okay, but uh, now we block a shade different almost all the time versus what we would block a three technique. So okay, and we'll get to that. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. All that. right. Okay. So so you have shade Mike, okay, and Eagle Mike. So those are the first two. Uh, okay, and then the next thing is, we'll just keep the defense up there like that. The next thing is, shade no mic. Okay, uh, you can already tell where they're gonna go. Okay, so you might get something like this. You know, 4-4 four, four defense, yeah. doesn't mean jack to our guys. They don't know what 4-4 four, four is or they just know this is shade no mic. Five three one five, no mic. Okay, shade no mic. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, so okay. So, okay, so that that's like a four four, or you know, if you had two tight ends there, it might be a six two. Same defense. Sure. Okay. But we don't call it six two or four four. Okay, and then if you flip that over, understand we're, we're only looking to the right. So if we flip that over, then this is obviously evil. Wait, what was that one called, Bob? Shade No Mike, the last Shade No Mike. Okay. And if you're looking at this one, this is Eagle No Mike. Absolutely. Okay? Eagle No Mike. And so Eagle, because it's a two, they could be lined up in a four four with two twos, and it's just Eagle no mic. Right. So if you have this right here. Okay. Eagle no mic. We're looking right. We don't really care what's going on back here. Mm -hmm. No need to identify that. Because there's only two different things we would do back there. Okay? See, I like the sound of that, Brian. There's only two things we'd do back there. Okay, so, so anyway, that that's what we would do. And, and if if it was eagle, let's say we had two twos, and we okay, that's eagle Mike. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay, so let's go five two. Okay, and I got a five over there, and I got a backer. But the one before that, I had two backers, right? No, one. yeah, it's no mic if it's two backers, okay? Yeah. So that's all you gotta know. Now, I'm just like you, okay? When I hear it, things kind of go in one ear out the other. That's why you got that thing, yeah. And you run it back and forth, and then after you know, you really don't know this stuff until you start going out on the field and talking about it. Then once you're actually talking to the kids about it and you show them, it starts making sense. When it's on the board, it's sort of a little bit like hieroglyphics, you know? <laughs> but, okay, so let me review. We have 50 no mic. We have recon mic. We have bear no mic. Those were the odd ones. Now these are the even fronts, okay? We have 
Eagle Mike, Shade Mike, Eagle No Mike, Shade No Mike. Okay, so now we're that's seven fronts we can identify. I have an extra front here somewhere. Oh, sure, right, because I double did that one. Okay, so I okay, so so, and I really only have one other front. I could actually make a couple more, but um, does anybody play you in the gap eight? Well, I, you'd have to draw it up there because I don't just know everybody in the gap. Yeah, they can, and that's what I was getting to right here. Um, part of that, anyway. Like people like to do this against this. Okay, so so let's say you had you can call it like that. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. Okay, so we hardly ever see this, but teams that want us not to run midline option will jump in this. Okay, and it causes us problems really on all of our options except for our outside beer. That's why you want to have outside beer in your repertoire. Okay, the outside beer will destroy that. Okay. So, so we call this, okay, we would call this, we would start out, our players are just saying 6, 40, 1, 1, 46, okay, if, if we had a tight end in there, let's just say we had yeah, a tight okay, end. Yeah, okay, it's good. Okay, all right, so 6, 40, 1, 1, 46, Mike. okay, shade Mike, oh, okay, shade but, Mike. okay, so, we got Shade Mike, but this is a little bit different. Okay, we want to identify this. So, if we've got a shade to the way we're looking, okay, right, and a guy lines up in our B gap, then we make a veer call. Okay, and our veer call, it could check us into an automatic outside veer, or we might want to. Do something else. I mean, there's other things that we want to do, but this used to really give us problems, and now we want people to be in that because we can really mess them up. Okay, if we have a few simple things, it's hard for our guys to identify. But the tackle has to listen to the shade call, and if he sees a guy in the B gap, then he's calling veer. Then everyone echoes the veer call. Everybody. Okay, the tackle say veer, 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 and the quarterback saying veer, veer, veer. The line saying veer. The backs are saying veer, 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 because our backs going to probably change the course that he's running on. So he has to know what's going mm -hmm. on. Okay. Okay. So one of the things that is pretty clear right off the bat is that <clears throat> you're not in a hurry at the line of scrimmage. We're not. We're not. Now, 